Hi, this is Kyle from McGraw-Hill, and in this short video, we're going to cover the basic functionality for SmartBook. All right, so I'm in my Connect Accounting course as a student, and I'll just open up the first chapter assignment. Okay, so when the program opens, it's going to drop me into the last place that I was at when I was in the program previously. So let's go to the left-hand navigational menu and take a look at some of the options. So we've got Leave Assignment. We'll want to click this as soon as we're done working in SmartBook. Next up, we've got the Assignments tab. This is going to show me all of my chapters. It's going to let me know which of the chapters are assigned and whether or not I'm on schedule or I'm behind. You can actually click on any of these chapters to go right into them from here. Next, we've got Preview. The Preview phase will allow me to see what I'm about to read. It allows me to build a visual framework for what I'm going to cover in this chapter. So for example, I can see that I'm going to spend a lot less time in the environment and theoretical structure of financial accounting than I am in financial accounting environment. Also, if I scroll over any of these pages, the content will populate on the right-hand side of the screen so that I can get more information about what's going to be covered. Right, let's open up the left-hand menu once again and go down to the next step, which is read. In the read phase, we'll be taken to the electronic version of the textbook. But as you'll see in a moment, it's got a lot of features that aren't available in a standard textbook. So let's first take a look at the navigational features. In the lower right-hand side of the screen, we've got the small a and the big A. This allows me to resize the font. So if I click the large A, I can really zoom in. And if I click the small a, I can make this very small. If you want to scroll up and down the page, you can do so by clicking on the scroll bar on the right hand side of the screen. Or you can click the up and down arrow keys from your arrow pad. If you'd like to get information from the coach that resides inside of SmartBook, click on the coach icon. Helps you put emphasis on the critical paragraphs first. And in order to remove her, just click on the icon once again. Now let's discuss navigating through the pages. We've got the right arrow key, and this will allow you to move through the chapter in a linear fashion. So we're on page two now. If I click this once, it'll take me to page three. And as we get to page three, you'll start to see that there's some interesting things going on in this page. We've got text that's highlighted in yellow. That material SmartBook is saying is very important to me at this moment in time. So as I work through the text, I should always be focusing on the yellow highlighted material because SmartBook's going to ask me questions about this when I go into the practice phase. You'll also see black and white text. This provides good context for the yellow highlighted material. Also, you'll note that some of the text is grayed out. This material is not as important to you at this moment in time, so you shouldn't focus on that right now. If I want to move to the next area of the text that has yellow highlights, I can click on the paintbrush arrow. This will move me through to the portions of the chapter that contain yellow highlighted material. If at any time you'd like to read in the traditional manner, you can simply click on the page, which will bring all the grayed out material to light. It'll keep the highlights in place. And in order to turn that back off, you'll simply click on the page again. Or if you'd like to turn off all the highlighting and just read the text, you can click on the paintbrush with a line through it, which will turn all the highlights off and illuminate all the black and white text. If you'd like to see the highlights again, simply click the icon. I've been reading for quite some time, so the program's letting me know that it's probably beneficial for me to practice. So I can either click on the glowing practice icon in the lower left-hand corner, or I can go to the left-hand navigation menu and click practice. This is where I'll actually complete the assignment. So right now, if you look at the bottom, you'll see that it says I have 58 items left until I'm done with this chapter. And these questions are gonna directly correlate to what I've just seen in the yellow highlights in my text. So that's the connection between the reading and the practice phase. So let's answer this question. I've selected my answer, but before SmartBook will accept it, I have to rate my confidence. This is here because it's one of about 10 pieces of data that SmartBook is analyzing to decide what to show me next. My answer was correct. So as I hit OK, you'll see that the number of items left at the bottom will go down from 58 to 57. You'll also notice that my dark, 
progress bar has gotten a little bigger. So as stated earlier, this is where you actually complete the assignment. If you're unsure about a question, you can always select read about this. This will take you to the page in the textbook that contains the answer to the question. After reading the page, I can select the question once again and answer. This time I was incorrect. Whether you're right, wrong, or somewhere in the middle, SmartBook will always tell you because this is a safe learning environment. It's not a quiz or a test. It's to get you ready for quizzes and tests. All right, so now I believe that it's time for me to go back into the reading. I can either click on the Read tab or I can expand the left-hand menu and go into reading once again. I'm going to move a couple pages forward to demonstrate that some things will change when you go back into the reading. For example, this area used to contain a yellow highlight, but it's turned green. That means that I've demonstrated to SmartBook that I have at least a baseline understanding of this material, so it's better for me to spend my time elsewhere at this moment. However, since it's still a really critical piece of the chapter, it's going to remain highlighted in green. Also, you'll note that some of the areas of the text that were grayed out previously will become illuminated and highlighted in yellow. That's because you've demonstrated to SmartBook that you're ready to take on new topics. After reading some more, you'll return to practice and complete more of the assignment. Let's return to the left-hand navigational menu. You'll also see that there's a portion here called Recharge. As you work through the book, inevitably, you'll forget material from early chapters. That's when you should use Recharge. It will allow you to answer just a select few questions that directly correlate to things SmartBook thinks you're about to forget from those early chapters. This is a great way to ensure that you remember everything that's needed throughout the course. Next, we've got My Reports. This is where you can find a list of all the reports that are available to you inside of SmartBook. These are great for various things, such as current learning status, which will help you with time management. Topic scores will let you know which topics in a given chapter you're struggling with. Missed questions. These are all the questions that you missed in each chapter, and you've got the opportunity to clear them out by successfully answering the questions. It's a great way to study if you've got a comprehensive quiz or test. Most challenging learning objectives will let you know which areas of each chapter you struggled with. Self-assessment will let you know what percentage of the time you were correct when you rated your confidence before answering questions. Then moving down, we've got the Tree of Knowledge, which is a visual representation of what you've learned in this class. Finally, in the left-hand menu, you've also got the option to create a practice quiz. This is yet another great way for you to study for comprehensive quizzes and exams. You can select the chapters that you'd like to cover, and the number of questions. The questions will be created based upon what's most important in each chapter and which areas you struggled with, so it's very personalized and very effective. You'll just click Start Quiz and you can begin answering the questions. You'll get full feedback and anything that you missed will end up back in your missed questions. So use these two together and you'll be well prepared for anything that's cumulative, like a quiz or a test. Right, the last thing that's available in the left-hand navigation menu is the How to Use SmartBook icon. This provides a deeper dive into all the topics that we covered in this video. I hope that you found this helpful.